Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today is a DIY video. This is specially created for Mother's Day. Mother's Day is coming if you are into creating stuff for your mom. I think you might like this idea so I wanted to share with you. This is a, like a shadow box. It's a photo frame but with a difference it's more 3D and this I have created with my daughter's pictures and my mom and sister's picture. If you, you can create this for any occasion. I created this specifically for Mother's Day to show you guys uh, to give you an idea so if you want to see how i have made this shadow box or a 3d photo frame then please continue watching okay guys let's begin so for this project we'll obviously need a frame now the frame which i have is from ikea and it has a lot of depth so these kind of projects look best if you have frames with a lot of depth and a lot of space inside if you don't get a frame like this you can of course use a frame something like this which are like standard frames which do not have a lot of depth but yes you just have to adjust your idea according to the depth of your frame i have three photographs for my project you can use as many number of photographs as you want the tutorial is going to be pretty self-explanatory if i have to explain something then i'll slow down otherwise i'll go pretty fast i think you should be able to catch most of the things i don't really need the frame now i just need it at the end for the assembly okay but before that let me just open the back of the frame This is going to be the base of the frame and then there's a paper here and then there is a mat as well so i won't be needing this probably i can use it somehow let's see but i won't be needing this i just need to see the size of the base so i'm using a black paper as my base so i'll just measure out the base and cut the paper out Here we have our base I just cut it uh, to the size of the frame and it fits perfectly on the frame on top of it I'm going to use this corkscrew paper now this is a paper which is a specialty paper I'm not sure if you can get it but you can use any kind of paper you want it's up to you I'm just showing you what I have uh, in my head now with this paper I also have another project somebody was asking me uh, the background which you see in my bedroom that kind of the picture uh, wall hanging is a uh, handmade as well and I have used this paper there too and I have a video on it so somebody was asking me on Instagram so I will link that video also down below so that you can check it out I always like having a black border for the photographs. I think they make the photographs pop a little bit more. That's why I'm making a black border. So here I have my three pictures okay so let them keep on the side now let's play with the papers So this is the page which I have used for the base but the behind also has a pattern paper so I'm going to use this to mat my pictures like this. This will be the background for the picture. In case anybody is curious and has access to all of these papers, 
I'm using this collection. So I'm using this collection here. It has really beautiful papers. This is called Petticoat, Petticoats and Pinstripes by Laurie Whitlock and I really like this paper collection. But yeah, obviously if you don't have access to these kind of papers, you can use this uh, project as an idea and you can use your own elements. Okay, so here is what we have so far, the base, then a frame which I'm going to adhere here and then all the photographs are ready like this, one, two, three. Before we start uh, uh, sticking everything, I just want to make one more frame, I'll just show you that technique which I like. I'll just make one more frame where I'm going to pop these pictures up. So the frame is going to be like sort of 3D. So I have a small little piece, uh, like a contrasting piece to the... A smaller frame which we have here and this piece of paper we are just going to fold and put it on this frame so that it looks like it's raised up so this is my scoring board I'll do half an inch and another half an inch same here So this scoring board, if you guys don't know, this one helps to fold the papers very neatly. So I'm just scoring it so that the papers can be folded easily. So now the papers can be folded very easily and they look very neat like so. And we are going to cut off this square here, the bigger square because we don't need it. And what I'm going to do is I'll cut out the middle portion also so that it looks like a frame. So I'm going to have 3 4 of an inch. The frame will be 3 4 inch. So I'll just mark it to make it easier to cut it out. So I'll just go ahead and glue these things here, put a little bit of glue at the end. This is our frame which will go on top of this. Now let's start gluing then you can see the entire picture first we will glue everything then we will start decorating for gluing this frame to the base i'm going to use this kind of foam adhesive uh, stickers so these stickers are going to give you a depth so it's not going to look flat it's going to look raised so i'm going to apply on the sides These are black in color, so that's nice, it doesn't show. I'll peel off the backing. A nice interesting effect, it's not flat. Next we are going to see how to uh, put up the pictures. Now you can also use effect like this where you put the picture down, put the frame here and then decorate around it uh, with embellishments. That's also one idea. But today I think I'm just going to stick with my original plan. I'll have the frame right here and put the pictures uh, around it. And I will let the frame show up a little bit and then apply, put the pictures. like this
So here you can see the photos are raised. Everything is raised. It has a nice 3D effect. And then I'll apply uh, adhere this one also. I will take two foam adhesives and I will raise it right here. So I'll raise it on this and put it here, not too at the edge because the frame has a little bit of a uh, edge here. So otherwise this will not go inside the frame. All of the pictures are raised. Now I will quickly embellish this thing and then I'll show you the end product. I'll speed through the process, but you will be able to see what's going on. So I think I'm done with my page. This is how it looks. Uh, this is like my 3D photo frame. I add just a few flowers here and one more sticker. It's a small space so I haven't done a whole lot. I just want to keep it very simple and easy to do and quick. Now let's go and pop this inside the frame. And let's see how it looks. So this is how it looks. Voila. This is how my frame looks. It's a really cute little Mother's Day gift idea for your moms. If you want to do a bigger, uh, even more bigger frame, you can do that. You'll have a lot more space. But this is also really cute, compact size. That's how my finished frame is looking. For Mother's Day, I really hope you got some ideas. If you do create, then please don't forget to tag me on Instagram. And yeah, I really hope you liked this video. It gave you some ideas. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye.